Yeah. I'm getting in shape. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a moment. Every single one of us is called to share the gospel. But have you ever wondered who shares the gospel with people in the military? Well, today we're gonna meet a real military chaplain. Meeting a chaplain is gonna help us dig into a story about when Peter shared the good news about Jesus with a Roman soldier. So turn in your Bibles to Acts chapter 10 and get ready to discover that whoever repents and believes in Jesus can be saved. I'm Joel, this is Explore the Bible on Location, and this military chaplain's gonna take me through a workout to see if I'm ready for basic training so I can become a NASA Special Forces Ranger person. Back to running! God made a promise to bless Abraham's descendants, the Jews. When Jesus came to earth, he died and rose again, and he extended the promise God made to Abraham to everyone who trusts in Jesus as their savior. What great news. This is Peter. Peter was a Jew who grew up learning the law of Moses. Peter thought that a person needed to believe in Jesus and become a Jew in order to be saved. Jesus showed Peter a vision of all kinds of animals, animals that were considered clean and unclean according to the law. The vision helped Peter understand that anyone can repent of sin and trust Jesus as Lord and Savior, whether they're Jewish or not. This is Cornelius, a soldier in the Roman army. Cornelius was a Gentile, not a Jew. He wanted to serve God, but he did not know the whole truth about Jesus yet. Would Cornelius find out about Jesus? I can't wait to find out what happens next. All right, everybody, we are here with, you're not gonna believe this, Joel. Joel, thanks for visiting with us today. It's great to be here. Good to see everybody. All right, we're gonna do two things. First, we are gonna find out a little bit about Joel's story of being a military chaplain. And then number two, he is going to lead me through a fitness test to see if I'm ready for basic training for the military. Sound good? Sounds like a great plan. Okay, so question number one is, what is a chaplain? It's a good question, Joel, because you know, in, in the military, most everybody's jobs make sense. Some people are guards, some people are military police, some people drive tanks, and then they hear what I do and they say, what's a chaplain? Even people in the military ask me. A chaplain basically is a pastor for those who are in the military, whether they're in the Navy or the Army or the Air Force. A chaplain is there to be a, a, a spiritual leader for them, to help guide them, because we go to difficult places, we go to hard places, and so, that's gonna mean they're separated not only from their family, but from their church family. So I'm there to, to be somebody they can talk to, that, that can listen to them, that's not gonna judge them, but I can also be someone who provides church for them. And so we have worship services wherever we go in the army. If we're out in the, the desert or we're out in the woods, we can have church right there and I'm the one who makes sure that they have that. So I allow soldiers to be able to keep worshiping God no matter where they are. Wow. Um, okay, you gotta tell us one of your favorite memories of being a chaplain in the military. I was thinking about that today and getting ready to, to meet with you and to meet with everybody who's joining us. Um, just this past year, I was in Iraq with the Army and I was in a, a place that was very difficult and even dangerous at times. And it led a lot of our soldiers that I was with to, to think about their relationship with God. And so I had two soldiers, in fact, that on Easter Sunday this past year that were baptized in our chapel service right in the middle of Iraq because they realized that they needed that relationship with Jesus to change their lives. And so I was able to talk with them about what that meant and I was able to baptize them right on Easter Sunday where we were in Iraq. Incredible. What an amazing story. Okay, we're talking about the gospel and what you just were talking about, people believing in Jesus. Do you have to be like from a special family or a particular branch of the military to believe in Jesus? Like, are there only some people that Jesus will save? Oh, absolutely not. 
Everyone needs Jesus. Everyone needs to know how much he loves them and what he did on the cross for them. In fact, the, the, the story I was just telling you about, the two soldiers that I baptized, one was a boy and one was a girl. One was a little bit older than the other one. They came from different backgrounds. Um, so it doesn't matter what you look like, where you're from, what your job is, what color your hair is. Everyone needs Jesus. And so it doesn't matter if you're in the army or the Navy or you're not in the military at all. Everyone needs to know who Jesus is and the gospel needs to be carried to them. Okay, we're talking about the gospel and what you just were talking about, people believing in Jesus. What about the kids, what did they do with the gospel? Well, you know, Joel, I'm not the only one with a mission. Just because I'm in the military doesn't mean that, that I have the only mission. All of us have a mission. All of us have a mission. If Jesus has changed our life, our mission is then to take that story to other people. And it doesn't matter if you go to school with them, you play on the soccer team with them, maybe it's your teacher, maybe it's somebody that lives in your very own house. They need to know that Jesus can change their lives too. So it becomes your mission, my mission, and all of our kids that are joining us say their mission to take the story of Jesus to whoever needs to hear that. Wow, okay, so all of us are called to share the good news with those around us and anyone who repents and trusts in Jesus as their Lord and Savior can be saved? Yes. Wow. Joel is very smart and this is very helpful. And that leads us to the second reason we are meeting today to go through this fitness test. You ready to take me through this? I think I am. All right, let's do this. God spoke to Cornelius through an angel and told Cornelius to find Peter. Two of Cornelius' men went to the house where Peter was staying. The Holy Spirit told Peter to go with the men, and when they arrived back at Cornelius' house, his whole family was waiting inside. Peter shared the good news about Jesus. Cornelius and his family trusted in Jesus and received the Holy Spirit just like Peter and the others did. That's when Peter saw evidence that salvation is for everyone who repents of sin and trusts in Jesus. Uh, okay, how'd I do? Not good at all. All right, so apparently I am not ready to go through basic training to become a submarine captain, special forces guard. But according to Joel, I'm ready and you're ready to tell the people we know the good news about Jesus because anyone can repent and believe in Jesus as their Lord and Savior and be saved. That's good news. And that's what we discover when we dig into the book of Acts. I'm Joel, he's Joel, and this is Explore the Bible on Location. But seriously, what, what, what were my numbers? Yeah, you really don't wanna know, buddy. I really don't. I'm gonna go take a nap and oh, I'm gonna go stretch. <laughs>